Hey, it's Tony talking car biz. Hey, today's vehicle video, a 2022 Toyota Venza limited edition. In today's video, I'm going to uh, dive inside and check out the interior on the limited edition. By the way, the exterior color on this one is Blizzard Pearl, so it's a pearl light white paint job, extra cost. So let's go ahead and uh, jump in and check it out. Okay, before I jump in the driver's seat, let's uh, just take a quick look at the door here. There is a lot going on on this door in terms of fabrics, textures, colors, styles. So let's take a quick look. So the upper uh, part of the door is soft tech uh, fabric. This is a padded armrest and it wraps all the way down around here with a real light gray stitching in here as well. And then just below that, there's a little strip right here. You can kind of see it and it's kind of a braided fabric strip with a brushed aluminum uh, tips on the end. Kind of an interesting idea. Uh, you gotta stop by the dealership and take a close look. Let me know what you think in the comments. Then they've got brushed aluminum door handles, some brushed aluminum trim here, and then this piece of trim right here is really interesting. Hopefully you can see it in the uh, video, but it's, it's striped, it looks metallic, it's got a little bit of green in there, a little gray, a little black. So again, very interesting fabrics and materials used here on the door. Limited edition does have the memory power driver seat two position power mirrors, but these are also folding power mirrors. So check this out and drop that down so I can set these mirrors up so I can power fold them in. Or if you put them in automatic mode, when you switch the car from park to drive, it'll automatically uh, reel them in. So if you got a tight garage, as soon as you uh, tap that button, you can fold those mirrors in. Power windows all the way around. These are one touch up and down all the way around. And then down here on the door, we've got a one of the uh, JBL speakers here in the door. And then there's a piece of uh, a trim there, gloss black trim that reads Venza. Bottle holders and pockets in the doors puddle lights down on the bottom of these doors so there like I said there's a lot going on just within the on the door itself dive inside here right away the skid plate threshold plate here Venza that is backlit at night so it lights up the threshold makes it easy to get in and out dual power seats on the Venza limited edition with power recliner power lumbar support and uh, airbags built right here into the seat these are going to be a soft tech fabric seat, black soft tech fabric, bucket seat, super comfortable, heated and ventilated, height adjustable headrest, height adjustable seat belts, really a nice comfortable seat. Stop by the dealership, give them a tr try and judge for yourself, but I like them a lot. Up on the dashboard, there's four of these vents, heating and air conditioning vents, on and off, left and right, up and down, brushed aluminum trim, surrounds those there's two right there and there's one over on the passenger side and then that braided trim we saw on the door comes across here as well soft tech padded fabric dashboard there's a variety of switches down here dimmer switch for your dash lights automatic high beam on and off traction control on and off view 360 on and off heated steering wheel on and off power lift gate up and down Hood release, gas door release, and then the limited edition does come standard with a power tilting telescoping steering wheel, and that's activated with the uh, memory seats as well. So it will remember your mirror positions, your seat position, and your steering wheel position, all based upon individual preferences. So it'll automatically bring it back and forth. I'm telling you, this is a really great vehicle. Uh, we'll dive inside and take a look. So behind the wheel of the uh, limited edition on the Venza, there is a leather wrap steering wheel. Of course, it is heated, as I mentioned down, down here. Very comfortable padded, nice uh, diameter, super easy to see the gauges while sitting behind the steering wheel. Driver's side airbag, chrome Toyota badging, more of that brushed aluminum trim that we saw over here on the doorways, ties it together nicely. On the left-hand side, cruise control, dynamic radar cruise control settings, lane departure, 
sound system settings, and then there's some uh, gloss black trim bezels around these switches, which is uh, you get on the limited edition. You wouldn't have that on an XLE. Fingertip controls for the info information center, the multi information center up here. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, voice activation. You can turn up and down the volume on your sound system with your fingertips. Over on this side, you've got headlight controls. Now the headlights are auto on and off. They're also those auto high beam headlights. And then we do have LED fog lights. The controls are right there. Those only operate in the uh, dim position. So if you have them on and you switch to the auto high beams, it will automatically turn them off. Super convenient, makes it better for oncoming drivers. Looks like I got a smudge here on my lens. Hang with me for a second, I'll get that off of there, there you go. And then over on this side, wiper controls, intermittent front and intermittent rear washer wiper controls are right here as well, so super easy to find. Take a quick look at the gauge cluster here. Uh, I've got the vehicle switched off. I wanna show you what it looks like when we start it up but the Venza uh, does come standard with the remote keyless entry which has the power lift gate on here as well and then we also have the push button start right there so foot on the brake and we'll give it a start so a nice little animation there from the uh, when it starts up now we do have the heads up display on this one and I just want to show you in the windshield maybe you can kind of see it right there but what that's doing is using this screen right here it's projecting a variety of information up onto the windshield so you don't have to look down to see how fast you're going what your direction of travel is all of that can be seen right up on the windshield so that's pretty cool that's a great feature to have take a look at the gauge cluster uh, pretty colorful um, so you see lots of reds and greens and blues on here and then whites so on the left hand side this is where we've got our our energy monitoring system for the hybrid we also have our engine temperature gauge right there as well and then over on the right hand side is where we've got the um, speedometer and your fuel gauge and you can see those are bright blue needles now even though I did turn this one on the gas engine didn't start and that's because I've got the car set up in EV mode right now so right here you can see EV mode the advantage of using EV mode is it gives you all the power options you need without actually running the engine and you can actually drive at very slow speeds like uh, backing in and driving out of your driveway or your garage or if you're just sitting in in the garage and you're finishing up a podcast or something like that you can just run off electric power all by itself. Also, you see there's a fuel computer here and we can use these fingertip controls on the steering wheel to be able to toggle through a variety of information. On here, there's your digital speedometer, distance to empty, there's a fuel computer. Uh, if I go down through here, there's your uh, compass, which is also up in the heads up display sound system. And then as we move finally down here is where we start seeing our safety settings. So our lane departure, our pre-collision, blind spot monitoring, parking assist, rear cross traffic alert, heads up display on and off, road sign assist. So it actually will detect road signs and tell you if there's a stop sign or the speed limit, that type of thing. Also, there's an outside temperature. And right now it's telling me that there's a potential for snow or ice on the road. So it does give you a little bit of a heads up in terms of the road condition. We'll slide over and take a look at the uh, center stack. By the way, this one is sold, as are most of the ones we're getting in now. So if you're interested, we can definitely put your name on one, order one, give the dealership a call, and basically we're taking orders right now. So uh, let us know if you're interested and we can work with you on that. So this is the largest of the heads up or of the infotainment centers and this is your JBL audio system. So the JBL audio system has premium uh, speakers as well as a uh, subwoofer in the trunk. I'll show you that in a little while. But there's some additional speakers up here in the uh, A pillars, front driver and uh, front passenger. So this sound system is amazing in here. The interesting thing about these, uh, this, uh, infotainment center if you will or the information center um, it does have dynamic navigation 
right there. And then on this side right now, I've got the climate control, but you can swap those out. So if you prefer the map closer to the driver, you can do that there. And then these are all your uh, temperature controls as well. So you can really move that around to your preference like so. And then of course, within the system here, we've also have the ability to head on over and set up our, uh, our radio, we can turn up and down our heated seats, ventilated seats. So these switches up here are somewhat, in my opinion, redundant to the ones that are down here. So you can adjust temperature controls up above or down below. So um, I guess, yeah, it's just redundant, but you know, depends on what you prefer. Of course, we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's Alexa compatible, and then Cirrus Satellite Radio is standard on here. So what that means is you get three months of the platinum top of the line subscription package at no charge. Then after that, you'd pay a fee if you want to continue with the premium uh, or the platinum level uh, XM satellite radio setting. But that screen is super easy to use, has lots of great information in there, and it really doesn't obstruct your view when you're driving the car. So they did a super nice job with that and the way that's set up. As we head down the uh, center stack here, there's two vents. And then on the limited edition, there are virtual buttons here for your heating and air conditioning. So front window, rear window, or front window defrost, rear window defrost. Uh, the outside mirrors are heated. So when I turn on the rear window defrost, it gets the ice and snow off of the outside mirrors. Um, there's also volume controls here for your sound system. So you can adjust those here on the steering wheel uh, and then you can toggle through a variety of other information using all of the switches here so these are kind of a virtual or a light touch um, they do offer the Venza with knobs and dials as well uh, just a personal preference I prefer the knobs and dials but um, let me know in the comments do you prefer having a clean look like this with no dials or would you rather be able to just reach over and turn the knob to turn to change the station or raise or lower the volume uh, again let me know in the comments as we head down the center stack I'm just going to shed some light on this area I want to show you some interesting uh, facets of it so they use the uh, brushed aluminum trim that we saw on the door handles here so I'm going to uh, shift it into drive so we can take a closer look down under the uh, console here so way down underneath there there's USB ports there's a USB and a 3.5 millimeter jack to plug in your music or USB charging. There's also wireless charging right here so if you have a wireless charging phone you can just drop your phone down there and get it charged up. We've got the electronic parking brake, parking brake hold and then a couple switches down here for EV mode and that's going to be a, give you that opportunity to leave the car on uh, without actually starting the gas engine. It's great for backing out of your garage or out of your driveway where you don't want to start the car or if you're just finishing up a podcast click it there the engine won't run but it'll run fully on electric then we've got drive modes and that's what this switch does it allows you to go through three different drive modes so there's a visual up here in the dash so right now I've got it in the normal drive mode notice just above the D there's a white line when I switch it into eco mode, it goes eco and then there's a blue line. And then when I go to sport mode, it's a red line. So you do have a visual there to let you know what drive mode uh, you're in. Now the uh, backup cameras on here, I'll switch it into reverse so you can see. It's got a really nice wide view. You can also change the perspective of the view here. Um, you've got the overhead view with the 360 cameras. And then um, also, if I move it into reverse, here I go, we do have path projection. So it gives me the ability to see which way the car's going. And using the View 360 camera, I can see all the way around the perimeter of the car before I back up. Go ahead and switch that into uh, drive mode. And now you see we've got the 360 camera where we're able to see all the way around the car and we can actually see in real time what's going on you know, out the back of the vehicle as well from a safety perspective. So heading down the center console, this is all soft tech fabric, so very comfortable leather wrap shifter, brushed aluminum trim, dual cup holders with brushed aluminum trim, 
quite deep as well. One of the things that I think is kind of interesting is the center console here, um, when you open it up, there's actually a um, little tray in here, and that tray has these plastic inserts. They're designed to drop into the cup holders for shorter uh, beverages. So if you've got a short coffee cup, you're gonna use those. I will tell you these would probably be the first things that I would lose out of my car because I'm just that kind of guy who loses things. A nice uh, a storage compartment here, and then there's also, um, see if I can get a little, little bit of light down in there, there's a 12 volt charging opportunity down there as well. Maybe you can see it there. There's our heated and ventilated seats there. Let's take a look at the passenger compartment. Very similar to what we saw on the other side with the brushed aluminum trim and all of that. There's a passenger assist grip up here. We've got lighted vanity mirrors on both sides. They pop out and then they do have the visor extensions as well on front driver, front passenger. Take a look overhead. We've got LED lights here for reading lights or door lights. Safety connect. Tap that button when you need roadside assistance and Toyota will get you some help out on the road. And then we have some warning lights, indicator lights for passenger airbags and those types of things are all up here. And then finally, we do have this really great high-end rear view mirror. So this is not only a day-night mirror, it also has um, home link in there. So you can set up to open your garage doors or what have you. It also has uh, a virtual mirror. So it's almost like a computer screen where you can set it up to be able to see out the back as though you were looking at a computer or something like that. So that's really interesting. You can see there uh, as I let me just get some light off of it. So you're actually see, using the cameras out the back of the vehicle to see behind you as opposed to the standard uh, rear view mirror. That comes in handy if you load up a lot of cargo back there or you have passengers and their heads are in the way so you can't see out the back. What you can do is just flip this mirror up and now you can see out the back regardless because now it's using the backup cameras as a source. So that, uh, that's one of those features you really have to see at the dealership and judge for yourself if you, if you think it's something that you would want to have on your Venza. So that's going to be a quick look up front. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into the back seat. Here's a uh, quick look up front from the back seat, the passengers in the back. The view's pretty darn good, although I will have to say those headrests really prevent you from seeing out the front when you're sitting directly behind the driver um, and the you can get a, a power moonroof on here this one doesn't have it uh, with the black interior I find it's it, it's pretty dark back here there's a light up here an LED light if you want to turn that on and there I got something on my lens again forgive me for wiping it off but I want to give you the best view possible there's vents down here there's no automatic temperature control but you can turn it up or down on and off there's also some uh, charging opportunities down there for your smartphone. Two 2.1 amp opportunities. Then we have pockets on the backs of both front seats, storage pockets. Pretty darn good knee room back here, I have to say. Now I've got that seat in my position, so it's not all the way back, but you can see I've got no problem with leg room back here. So it's, it's surprisingly spacious. Uh, you wouldn't guess it from the outside, but they really optimize the space in here. And then on the door, the door switches are backlit. Here's more of that metallic finish we saw. There's po there's pockets in the doors, speakers in the doors, so that it's really finished off nicely here with the passenger grips. There's um, three seat belts. There's also a folding armrest with cup holders right here, as well as the bottle holders in the doors. And then these back seats are perforated but they're not heated or ventilated. These are soft tech fabric seats. These seats do have a just height adjustable headrest. You can also drop the seat down from here as well in the back seat. So this is gonna be 60% of the seat. There's child uh, tether anchors right here for child safety seats back here, but um, then it goes into the back. So 
that extra 60% fold down is really handy. These seats actually recline, so right here they're straight up. And then if I grab the handle here, I can just tip it back just a little bit. So there's a little bit of a reclining feature there as well. It gives you about a two to three inch of reclining on the backs here. So I would say the amount of space and the comfort back here uh, is going to be surprising to you. It certainly is to me. Let's uh, go ahead and jump in the trunk and check that out. Okay, diving into the trunk on the Venza. The Venza does have the kick feature, so you can kick your foot underneath there and automatically open and close it. You can also do that with your keyless fob. It's got a nice wide opening, really nice low lift over. The thresholds here are interesting. On the Limited, these are brushed aluminum thresholds, so just a nice extra classy touch. Limited Edition does come standard with the retractable cargo cover. That can also be stowed down underneath the uh, floor here. Uh, check out how deep this floor is though. There's plenty of room in here for emergency equipment, jumper cables, maybe a blanket, maybe first aid kit. All those things could be stowed under there quite easily. Um, and then that cargo cover goes under here and stretches across there as well. There are some removable little pockets here, little extra stash areas, LED light here. And then I wanted to show you the JBL uh, subwoofers over on this side here. I mentioned that these uh, this cargo cover does come off. You don't need tools, it's friction fit. So you just, it's got kind of spring loaded and boom, away you go. And that does go underneath the floor if you're not going to use it. But I just wanted to show you how much room there is in the back of this once you drop those seats down. It's pretty incredible, the amount of space. Again, another surprise for me on the Venza. I'm just going to drop this seat down. Notice I don't have to take the headrest out. Plenty of room there. I've got extra place down here if I need to throw some odds and ends with the seats down. And then here's a good look at the entire cargo area. That is a lot of space. You could throw a single air mattress in here and do a weekend uh, camping trip quite easily. There you go. That's the uh, interior overview on this 2022 Toyota Venza Limited Edition. Hey, if you have any questions about this vehicle, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do my best to answer them. Uh, also, watch out for video number two, or video number one, as the case may be. I'll also be doing an exterior overview on this Venza, so be sure and catch that. And then if you like the video, please uh, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I'd love to have you as a part of our conversation on the Venza for 2022. This is Tony talking car biz. Thanks for watching.